My name is Caroline Graham and I work at an international organization based here in British Columbia. It's called the North Pacific Anadromous Fish Commission. And at the commission, we work with five countries, the US, Canada, Russia, Japan, and Korea. And we work together to study and understand what's happening to salmon when they're in the ocean phase of their life cycle. So as part of that organization, I am working on a project where we're coordinating an expedition, a research expedition, into the North Pacific Ocean to study what's happening to salmon when they're out in the middle of the ocean. So a little bit about myself. I grew up in landlocked places, but I was always looking for an opportunity to go for a swim, whether that was a river, a lake, a pool, or even an occasional trip to the ocean. So the ocean always fascinated me because we understand so little about it compared to what we understand about terrestrial ecosystems. And that made me want to study and try to understand the ocean. So I've been really privileged to have opportunities to research a lot of different aspects of the ocean and explore my interest in this field. So I did spend a summer studying coral reefs and how climate change will affect corals in the future. I also spent a year in the Caribbean studying the mystery behind why there are enormous amounts of seaweed washing up on the shores at a scale that has never been seen before. I also spent a few summers doing research on salmon, which is what led me to pursue my masters in oceans and fisheries and also led me to my current job. So what fascinates me so much about salmon and about fisheries more generally is the connection that these fish have with people and with communities. So growing up in a landlocked place, I didn't quite realize the inseparable link between fisheries and coastal communities and many um, indigenous peoples around the world as well. So these fish are not just a critical source of food to many people, but they also shape their ways of life and are an integral part of the culture as well. And it's that connection that really drew me to study and to try and understand what's happening to these fish, um, and particularly to salmon, which are so important to so many people and critical to healthy ecosystems. So in recent years, we've seen really scary declines in salmon here in Canada and in many other parts of the Northern Hemisphere as well. So my work now is about trying to understand why that's happening so that we can have healthy salmon and healthy ecosystems and also healthy people.